सो हेलो एंड वेलकम टू बोसॉन्स बॉटनी एंड आई एम स्टार्टिंग विथ रूट एपिकल मेरिस्टम सो हियर इज अ वेरी सिंपल डायग्राम ऑफ रूट एपिकल मेरिस्टम द आउटर पोर्शन इज प्रोटोडम इफ यू रिमेंबर एंड इफ यू हैव वॉचड माई प्रीवियस वीडियोज देन इट्स क्लियर टू यू that protoderm is meant to form epidermis which is the outermost layer the uh, portion which is uh, shaded uh, here i have shaded this portion this is basically vascular bundle the plain portion or the white portion is representing cortex and this is the root apical meristem and below this root apical meristem is the root cap so this portion is basically the root system representing root apical meristem so the first topic is introduction and the first point is root apical meristem is present subterminally if this is the terminal portion then root apical meristem is present subterminally that is below the terminal position or you can also say below the shoot apical meristem or below the shoot system so present subterminally in the root develops from radical so shoot apical meristem develops from plimule and root apical meristem develops from radical does not produce lateral appendages if you remember shoot apical meristem forms lateral appendages commonly known as leaf primordia but in case of root apical meristem no such lateral appendages are formed so this is a very important distinguishing feature uh, to differentiate between root apical meristem and shoot apical meristem root apical meristem is primary in origin meristem the name suggests itself it is primary in origin undifferentiated meristematic and undergo active divisions that is all the cells representing root apical meristem or present in root apical meristem these cells are undifferentiated meristematic and show active divisions these are metabolically very active and show active division root apical meristem is simple in its structure from that of shoot apical meristem in the following ways so if you compare uh, these two structures uh, that is um, shoot apical meristem and root apical meristem then you can uh, say that root apical meristem is far more simpler in its structure as compared to shoot apical meristem and the following reasons or uh, the following uh, points which uh, define this uh, concept the points are root apex is partially or partly enclosed within a fully differentiated mature structure known as root cap so root apical meristem is simple because the root apex is uh, partially or partly covered by um, a fully differentiated and mature root cap root apical meristem produces cells both towards the axis and away from it to initiate the root cap you need to memorize these points so it's better that you jot down these uh, points and memorize them later on third point root apex does not form lateral appendages that is leaf primordium as seen in case of shoot apical meristem no regular rhythmic changes in the size and form of root apex size shape structure changes in case of shoot apical meristem but no such regular and rhythmic changes are seen in case of shoot, uh, root apical meristem 
The three tissue systems which are found in case of root apical meristem are epidermis produced from protoderm. If you see the diagram, protoderm or epidermis, cortex, here is the cortex, vascular cylinder or vascular bundle. And these are limited close behind the root apex. These are present behind the root apex. Now the next heading or subheading under this topic is theory or theories. And there are four main theories which are apical cell theory given by Najili, histogen theory given by Hanstein, corpor cape theory by Skew, concept of quiescent center by close. So, if you uh, recap uh, all the theories uh, which I have already defined in shoot apical meristem, then uh, those theories are also applicable for root apical meristem. But the most important theory for root apical meristem is corpor cape theory given by skew. This theory is based on the plane of division like tunica corpus theory in case of shoot apical meristem. Cells at the root apex divide into two planes. A cell dividing into two by a transverse division or horizontal division and then one of the daughter cells is dividing by a longitudinal division which is a um, vertical division forming a T like sequence so this is the first division and this is the second division the first division is transverse or horizontal division and the second division is longitudinal or vertical division forming a T like structure the scientist skew differentiated two zones according to this sequence which were corpor and cape but in some parts of plant or parts of root like in the outer part this T is inverted which is basically like this so the division occurs like this first a horizontal division then one of the lower daughter cells divide longitudinally to give an inverted t-shaped structure the zone with inverted t-shaped structure is known as the corpor or the cap portion and the zone with the straight t zone is known as cape or body portion this theory is applicable or very well shown in case of monocots like in family gramini but the very important demerit of this theory is it failed to explain the differences in behavior in different species. So like in case of monocots uh, and uh, specifically in case of gramini, this theory is defining something but in case of uh, some other family like solanaceae or poaceae, this theory is defining some other uh, explanation or some other facts so this theory is not uh, flexible or you can see it is not stable in uh, various uh, families found in plant kingdom and uh, this theory is varying accordingly so this is the biggest demerit of this theory now comes the final theory Quizant center or concept of Quizant center. This was given by Close. So, during his experiment or his uh, auto radiographic experiment or studies of DNA synthesis, Close found in the root tip of Zia maze a central cup like structure or a cellular region present between the root cap and the active meristematic region 
so accidentally close found a very uh, mysterious a very uh, dramatic region in between uh, the root cap and the meristematic region during his experimentation on zia maze cells of this region have very low concentration of dna rna and protein there uh, the cells of this region also have fewer mitochondria very little amount of endopla endoplasmic reticulum and very small dictyosomes dictyosomes or golgi bodies we call golgi bodies dictyosomes in case of plant cells so fewer mitochondria little amount of endoplasmic reticulum very small dictyosomes nuclei and nucleoli these all are uh, organelles which are very little in their uh, number or amount in case of this new region discovered by close during his exper experimentation no active synthesis of dna and hence this is an inactive central region known as quiescent center so the cells of this region are not known to show active dna synthesis and hence um, known as inactive central region commonly known as quiescent center several hundred cells are present active these cells are active whenever the previously active initials or the previously active cells are damaged so the condition for these cells to be active is only when the previous cells are damaged only these cells can become active so quiescent center is a reservoir of cells resistant to damage exposure exposure of the roots to toxic doses like x-rays the meristematic cells stop producing dna and the cells of this region become meristematic and synthesize dna so um, if we expose um, the roots to any toxic dose like x-ray then the meristematic cells uh, will stop producing dna or synthesize dna will not synthesize dna and um, at that very moment the cells of this region that is the cells of quiescent center or quiescent region become meristematically active and start to synthesize dna inactive due to their position in the apical meristem so these cells in the quiescent center are inactive due to their position specific position in the apical meristem but not due to any inherent inherent uh, inherent character uh, that is uh, their inactivity is not due to any genetical reason any any um, hereditary um, problem or any hereditary concept but it is only because of their uh, specific position in the apical meristem now the final diagram of root apical meristem of allium sepa which is commonly known as onion this is the scientific scientific name of onion so this is the root apical meristem of allium sepa or onion and uh, the innermost portion here is known as procambium producing the vascular cylinder or the vascular bundle then the next region is cortex then the protoderm then the quiescent center which is present just above the root cap so this is the quiescent center so i hope this uh, video is clear and this is the end of root apical meristem and in my next video the topic is permanent tissue thank you